Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Collector's Edition 101. Class is now in session. So today we actually have a massive, massive return from PSA. Uh, this is something we sent out last year and I am so excited to get back all of these cards. So we're just going to go right into it. Now note these cards have already been unboxed and everything and have already been processed. Uh, as of the filming of this video, everything should be live on our website, ce101.com. So if there's anything in today's video that you see, feel free to swing by our website and uh, see what we got. So we're going to start off with the first couple cards. So we have a uh, Dark Robat Hollow and a beautiful PSA 9. Looks great. Next up, we have Dusknor from Stormfront near Mint 7. Very nice. Next, Bennett EX from EX Legend Maker at, at 6. Now, I will say, um, we're going to be speaking through a lot of these today because we have many, many of these to cover. Uh, next up, we have Zapdos Black Star from the uh, second film, I want to say. Uh, came back at a Gem Mint 10. I believe this is the correct version. One edition of these cards actually uh, miss cited the illustrator for these cards and so those are a little bit rare we have another zapdos 10 another 10 like some of our last videos we're gonna be flying through a lot of 10s i think here another zapdos 10 and another one all right wow you know, maybe afterwards on the post-production here, maybe we'll have a little 10 counter, see how many 10s we've nailed in this one video. So far, I think we're up to at least a good 7, 8, 9. Um, finally, our first non-10, we have a 9. So, we're just going to burn through all of these. Another 10. Another 9. So, these cards were definitely given out during the uh, film. Uh, I believe it was the second movie, because this was the whole movie of Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres kind of going at it. It was the Pokemon movie 2000. And uh, by far one of my favorite films. Um, just overall, really great story, really great animation. Oh, got our first Moltres. We're finally out of the Zapdoses. This Moltres is coming in at a 10. Uh, there's something about that early 2000s animation with the Pokemon films that was just really great. Um, it really reflected that pretty well in a lot of the artwork on these cards as well. And another 10. Uh, just like the Zapdos, uh, the Moltres and the Articuno uh, also miscited the illustrators as well. Um, I'm pretty sure all the ones that we have are the corrected versions where they list the corrected illustrator. another 10. So, no pun intended, but we're just going to fly through all these legendary birds real quick, and then we're going to get to a lot of the fun of uh, some of the other cards that we have today. Looks like another 9. Another 9. So if you are in need of any of these legendary bird sets, we're going to have sets of 9, sets of 10, all available on the website. Um, I think this is something that's going to be kind of one of those little hidden gems that eventually might go up in pricing, just because of the fact that it's such a nostalgic set of cards. Everyone remembers going to see those movies in the movie theater. I know myself, I did. Um, I remember going to see double features of Pokemon and various horror movies for my birthday one year or two. That was a really fun experience. Uh, I want to say it was either the second... Nope, I lied. Actually, it wasn't even a Pokemon movie that I'm referencing. Um, it was actually the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. Went and seen the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie in theaters for my birthday the same day that I saw Alien vs. Predator. So, you know, I got so caught up in talking about the birds that I totally almost missed our first non-bird card here out of this entire reveal. Bill's Maintenance Reverse Hollow from Expedition, coming in at a 7. That beautiful e-reader series artwork and that uh, style of foil. 
Another e-reader from Aquapolis 6. Uh, Aquapolis was another fantastic set. A lot of wonderful artwork on a lot of the cards. Uh, I believe that's also where we got some of the, you know, the crystals and other wonderful pieces. Uh, we have the Dark Ride Cresselia bottom half from Triumphant coming in at a 8. Legend pieces were another really, really cool thing. Um, I got into Pokemon again just at the tail end of Triumphant and all of that, so I didn't really get to play with the Legend pieces a whole lot, but I did see them being used and definitely blew my mind some of the insane artwork that these cards had. Another Palkia Dialga Legend piece, bottom half, another 8. Gonna keep it up with all these eights on the bottom pieces. And one more. You know, I almost feel like it's a crime if someone ever buys these cards and they only buy one half of the card. It's like, how are you gonna separate them? 2004 Ancient Technical Machine Rock. And in a seven. This is another one of my favorite type of foils, is when they had the various types of energy in the background. You can see the metal, the darkness, the lightning, the colorless fire. It's just such a cool foil. I wish this was something they would bring back. And speak of it, again, on a Steven's Advice. Beautiful Near Mint 8. Just really highlights the card's art so well. Okay, so we got through a good portion of those. And uh, I'm really excited because this is where we're getting to the fun stuff. The next series of cards are going to be all of the ones that start um, in the sets that we got graded and returned to us. Now, these sets were sent in. Uh, a lot of them are going to be completely sequential to both the set and the grading numbers, which is super cool. And it actually covered a ton of really, really fascinating sets, so I'm really excited to see what all we got back. So, the first one that we got today, Jumpluff Hollow from Aquapolis. That's right, we're starting off in Aquapolis. Like I said, one of my favorite sets between the crystals, the fantastic arts, uh, these special H-foils. Uh, Jumpluff, definitely really, really cool little one. Uh, very simplistic artwork, looks wonderful. Next up, we have a Spiro from Fire Red Leaf Green. So, looks like we'll be kind of bouncing around a couple sets. We have that fantastic foiling of all the energies in the background. And looks like we have a little note that this little guy has a swirl on him. Those swirls are highly demanded in the industry, uh, especially for the graded card industry. And this guy came back at 10. So fantastic gem mint 10 from fire red leaf green foil and it has a swirl. That's pretty exciting. Next up we have Articuno reverse foil from Sky Ridge. Comes in at a 9. Fantastic artwork. Again, that fantastic e-reader style. Got a reverse hollow beedrill from Sky Ridge coming in at a gem mint 10 as well. Super cool looking art. I like the little 3D animation style they did with it. Grobat, Reverse Hollow from Sky Ridge, coming in at a 9. Very nice, real creepy looking card. I love it. Dugon from Sky Ridge, coming in at a 9 as well. Seems like we're going to be hitting a lot of high numbers today, which is really, really exciting, especially with these sets. So, Dugon looking good. Larion. Coming in at a 9 as well. Sky Ridge, Reverse Hollow. Super cool little artwork on him. Just kind of out chilling in the desert, vibing, doing his own thing. Fortress, Near Mint 8, Reverse Hollow. Sky Ridge as well. Gengar, Reverse Hollow, Near Mint 9, Sky Ridge Foil. Super cool. And you know, one thing I never noticed about this guy is that I didn't notice in the artwork that he's actually got some statuettes of the legendary birds there. Looks like he's got Articuno and Zapdos, but uh, what happened to poor Moltres? Was Gengar being a little mischievous and broke it? 
Uh, Sky Ridge Gyarados. Near mint 9. Beautiful card. Gyarados has always looked so menacing. I love it. Kabutops, Sky Ridge. Gem mint 10. Beautiful, beautiful card. Super exciting to see all these high grades coming back in this collection. And we're going to keep rolling on through... Looks like we're hitting a lot of the Sky Ridge stuff right now. So we're going to keep going through all of that. Grab the next pile here. So we have a Lady on Reverse Foil near Mint 9. Sky Ridge Machamp Reverse Hollow Gem Mint 10. Beautiful, beautiful card. Great artwork. Love the mountains in the background, the rivers. I think there's a little geyser off to the left. Very cool looking card. Macargo from Sky Ridge, Reverse Foil, coming in at a 9 as well. Another Sky Ridge Macargo at a 9, Reverse Hollow. Uh, again, I apologize if you're seeing some cards and you want me to focus on them a little bit more here and there. Uh, but man, we have a lot to go through today. In fact, we're probably going to break this up into two videos, so, you know, after you wrap up this video and are done checking it out, make sure to look for that second video. I'm sure it won't be far behind. Magneton, Sky Ridge, Reverse Hollow, coming in at a 9. I want to say this, uh, this lot of cards, I think we're around like 980 cards back from PSA. Moltres, Sky Ridge, Rev Hollow, 9 as well. Super cool set. One of those sets I really wish I would have held onto a box or two. Nido Queen, Reverse Hollow, near mint 9. Pile of Swine, near mint 9 as well. Hitting a lot of those 9s. Raichu, Reverse Hollow from Sky Ridge, coming in on at a 9 as well. I think one of the things that amazes me most about these older cards is you look at them in comparison to the newer cards and just how overwhelmingly powerful the new stuff is. Um, Raikou, Reverse Foil, comes in at a 9 as well. Looks like we're in the Sky Ridge section here, so we're just going to kind of keep on that notation. Um, but yeah, a lot of the newer Pokemon just easily one-shot all these older Pokemon with barely any effort. Right on comes in at a 9. Starmie coming in at a 9 as well. One of my favorite artworks of this card, Umbreon. Gem Mint 10. Man, that is beautiful. Atsuko Nishida is the illustrator of this card. They did a fantastic job on this, and I apologize if I butchered that name, but... Seeing Umbreon just chilling in the moonlight, big old moon ahead of him, cloudy night with stars, just fantastic looking artwork. Growlithe, Reverse Hollow, comes in at a 9 as well. And Pikachu, the old mascot of Pokemon himself. Fun fact. Pikachu originally was not the planned mascot for the Pokemon franchise. It was actually Clefairy. Don't know why they decided to switch that up, but... wonder what things would be like if Clefairy was the big mascot nowadays. Alright guys, I already see what's in this next session, and man am I super excited. We have some big, big ticket items here. Um, so... First one... We have a Reverse Foil Crystal Celebi coming in at an 8. Um, beautiful card. We're gonna, I think this card is in this condition and in this grade. I think we got this guy probably around the $8, $900 range. Very, very fantastic card. Also a gorgeous artwork for Celebi. Next one. We have a Crystal Charizard 8.5 Reverse Hollow from Sky Ridge. 
Um, last time I checked, the population on this an 8.5 is very, very low. PSA rarely gives out those half grades, so it's kind of cool to see. Um, and if I remember correctly, these guys in this grade era, area is probably closer in the like 2200 to 2500. And a crystal golem reverse hollow near mint nine. Kind of completing in our little trio of crystals in the reverse hollows. And I think this guy pushes right around the $400 range. <clears throat> now we're moving to the H foils within the series. So there were the regular reverse hollows within the set. And then there's almost kind of a secret subset, and that is the uh, the H foils. Uh, so they did a fantastic job on these. They look super great. Uh, this is the Amphros coming in at a beautiful nine, and this foil looks so great, especially with that e-reader barcode style on the side. Getting to see the foil shine through it all. Super fantastic. And next up, we have an Aquapolis Arcanine Gem Mint 10, and we have a notation of a little swirl. Super fantastic. Uh, swirls are such a big part of the collector market, especially in these older cards in the graded industry. Um, even this guy at a Gem Mint 10, I think, pushes around 14, 1500 easily. Coming up on our next 10, we have an Ariados. Super, super cool card. Um, I think he pushes right around the three, four hundred dollar range. Could be a little higher. Azumarill. A lot of these cards that we're highlighting now, these uh, high grade H foils from Aquapolis, all easily push that two, three hundred dollar range. Sometimes even more. Gem Mint Ten Blossom with a beautiful swirl in the middle of the card. Super great looking. Then we have Blissey coming in at a near mint eight. Electrode near mint eight as well. Man, that is a creepy looking smile. I wasn't even aware the electrodes could smile. Man, all right. We're going to move on from that one pretty quick. Next beautiful card, we have an Entei from Aquapolis. H foil gem mint 10 with a swirl. Whew. I think these guys push easily $1,500 in Gem Mint 10. But even bigger than that Entei, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous Espion. One of my favorite artworks on this card. Comes in a Gem Mint 10 as well. No swirly on this guy, but even still, this card easily pushes $1,700, $1,800. Near Mint 9, Aquapolis, Executor. Super cool looking. Almost has like a little false swirl there. If you look right here, almost looks like a swirl, but it's not. Houndoom, another fantastic artwork. They just killed it on this art for this entire series. It was so great. Gem Mint 10 Houndoom. This card pushes some big numbers too, just because of the low population on the card and just the fantastic artwork. I want to say even in... Even with the population it has, which I want to say is probably around 50 or 60 or so, um, that's easily a, like a $2,500 card. Hypno with a Swirl. Super cool looking card, Gem Mint 10. Looks like he's, uh, you know, creeping around on top of some rooftops, uh, eating the dreams of other Pokemon and or, or people who are sleeping. Looks like that guy fell asleep at his desk and Hypno's just having himself a little lunch because of that. So, Quapolis Kingdra with a swirl. Super fancy looking card, looks great. Lantern, Gem Mint 10. Super gorgeous. 
Magneton. Much more subtle hollow on this guy in comparison. Comes in at a 9. Near Mint 9 Muck with a Swirly. Super cool. Looks like he's like in the sewers or something, kind of creeping about. Muck has just always been one of those Pokemon that's given me a little bit of uh, disturbance. Aquapolis Nido King, beautiful 10. Super cool looking card. This next card is another favorite of mine. It is, I love this Nine Tails. Super cool looking card. Just the foil is gorgeous. Octillery with a swirl. Comes in at a nine. Next one is Scizor. Gem Mint 10. Easily pushing like six, seven hundred in this type of uh, condition. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. And we're going to grab our last little pile here of box one of ten. Aquapolis Slowking, nine. Beautiful, beautiful card. Steelix. Gem Mint, ten with a swirl. Easy, easy thousand dollar card right here. Sudowoodo, nine. Him and his buddies all just kind of run around the forest having a great time. Really cool looking card. Another 8.5 Sweet Coon. Super cool. Another fantastic artwork. Just something about that old art style with Pokemon. Something that I really, really wish they would just bring back and uh, get some of those old artists to come back and do some newer work. Tentacruel, near mint 9. <clears throat> Togetic, gem mint 10 with a swirl. Beautiful card. Next one's another really, really big heavy hitter. Tyranitar, gem mint 10 with a swirl from Aquapolis. This card could easily push $3,000 plus. Gorgeous. This artwork, Tyranitar just standing out in the middle of a massive storm, lightning crackling in the background. So cool. Another big hitter, Umbreon Gem Mint 10 with a swirl from Aquapolis. Another easy $3,000 card. Fantastic artwork. Umbreon running around on the rooftops of... It's always given me like a London City type of vibe. Massive moon in the background. Next up is a Victory Bell. Super cool. Kind of a little derpy vibe, but I love it. Vio Plume. Really chill, happy. Just kind of, you know, doing their own thing. Another 10, Zapdos. Super cool looking card. I think this is another uh, sleeper card that I think will eventually be worth a lot more than what it's really going for right now. Uh, so, I'd say pick it up. The artwork's amazing. Moving on to our regular set here. Uh, looks like we have the Aquapolis Gem Mint 10 Arcanine. Super cool. And we are going to move on to our next box real quickly once I file the rest of these guys away real quick. So this is box one, and we have had some crazy big hitters already. I'm super excited to see what the rest of these boxes are going to uh, entail. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to be insane. Um, I know there's some really, really cool cards that are supposed to be in these lots. But, man, it looks like it's almost hard to top that box one. So, grabbing our second box here. 
let's continue on. Looks like we're going to be moving on into the Aquapolis series a little bit further here. I'm going to be kind of speeding through some of these since, you know, we've had a lot of the really big ones, but I do want to highlight some cool stuff in here. So, Ente, Gem Mint 10. Espeon, Gem Mint 10. Houndoom, another Gem Mint 10. That beautiful Houndoom, but non-foil, Gem Mint 10. Kingdra, Gem Mint 10. Gem Mint 10 Ninetales. Gem Mint 10 Suicune. You know, this would be cool if this entire set was Gem Mint 10. Tyranitar Gem Mint 10. Umbreon, Gem Mint 10. Zapdos, Gem Mint 10. Growlithe, also a Gem Mint 10. Vulpix comes in at an 8. Vulpix is the one who broke our little streak there, finally. Pokemon Fan Club coming at a 9. Super cool. Aquapolis Crystal Kingdra. Double swirls on the card. That's really cool. Comes in at beautiful 9. Don't think I've seen too many cards that have had double swirls on them. Lugia, Crystal from Aquapolis. Beautiful mint nine as well. Um This card easily pushes close to four thousand dollars. It is insane. I remember pulling this card when I was a kid. Nido King Crystal Gem Mint Ten. So guys, opinion, what do you think is worth more, Nidoking or Lugia? Lugia's a 9, Nidoking's a 10. The answer might surprise you, but you know, feel free to post your, uh, post your comments down below what you think is worth more. Beedrill, Fire Red Leaf Green, beautiful near mint 8. Looks like we're moving into our fire red leaf green section of this return. We have Butterfree at a six. Ditto, Gem Mint 10. Uh, Executor comes in at nine. Kangaskhan also a nine. Now they did this. Wheat foiling that I love with all the different types of energies in the background, but they also did that like holographic Pokeball. Super fantastic touch. Marowak at an 8. Nido King at an 8. Nido Queen at a 9. Grab our next section. Pidgeot from Fire Red Leaf Green. Gem Mint 10. This was a fantastic card. That ability, Quick Search, just every turn, search your deck, grab any card you want. Super good card. I remember playing those back in the day. Polyrath. Great thing about that Pidgeot is it really helped you uh, get set up with others in case they knocked one of them out. Uh, Raichu, Gem Mint 10. Super fantastic card. Slowbro, oops, come back here, Slowbro. Gem Mint 10. This was another art style that I really enjoyed back in the Fire Red Leaf Green era, is this like almost claymation style look that they did. Uh, Snorlax, Gem Mint 10. Tauros. Yeah, these reverse foils are just so pretty. Victory Bell at a 9. Arc 9 also at a 9. Call him Arc 9. <laughs> Excuse the terrible puns, everyone. 
There'll be a couple more, I'm sure, within the video. Chansey coming in at 9. Cloister, gem in 10. Dodria, gem in 10. Doug Trio comes in at an 8. Farfetched. Ooh, gem mint 10 on that guy. Super cool. I love this artwork too. Feels very simplistic, very. It's also very Japanese style art. I mean, it's Pokemon, so what do you expect? I mean, that's kind of where it's all based out of, so. But the artwork on this card was fantastic. Condition is amazing. Not very far fetched that that came back a 10. Alrighty. Biro comes in at an 8. Hypno comes in at a 9. Gem in 10 on this Kingler. Prime Ape comes in at a 9 as well. God, it's reverse foil. I just can't get over it. It's so pretty. Charmeleon comes in at a 9. Super cool card as well. Drowsy, Gem Mint 10. Beautiful card. Execute. Your mint comes in at eight. Fun fact, very low population on this guy. Not a lot of them came back as eights from that set. Super cool looking haunter. Gem mint 10 from Fire Red Leaf Green. We had Charmeleon. Ah, here's Ivasaur. He came back a 9. Super cool looking card. He looks very happy. Lickitung. Oof. Looks like he was trying to get some apples, and uh, one of them gave him a good solid bonk upside the head before he could get his. Gem Mint 10. Fantastic looking card as well. Mankey. PSA 9. Need Arena, Gem Mint 10. Onyx. Man, this guy looks super fierce in this one. Super cool looking card. Artwork is insane on that guy. Pardon me while I file these guys back away, and we're going to move on to the second half of box number two. A lot of really spicy looking cards in this one. Great sets. I'm super excited that we finally got this back. Like I said, we got uh, we sent this guy back in the uh, early bits of 2020. One of the more exciting things that happened for us around that time. So, next card coming up, we have a Pidgeotto, Gem Mint 10. Poliwhirl, Near Mint 9. Continuing that beautiful foil style. Radicate, Gem Mint 10. Venomoth comes in at a 9. War Turtle. Super cool. Can't tell if he's running, baiting. But man, he's got a serious look to his face. He's ready for some action. Weeping Bell. Gem Mint 10. Wigglytuff. Comes in at a 9. Bell Sprout. Gem Mint 10. Charmander. Look how happy that little guy is. 
Man, that original episode when Ash gets his first Charmander broke my heart. That trainer that just left Charmander out in the, the rain because he was too weak. Ugh. Good on Charmander for going with Ash. Clefairy, Gem Mint 10. Again, this could have been our original mascot for Pokemon. Wonder what that would have been like. Cubone, Gem Mint 10 as well. Diglett, Gem Mint 10. Ghastly comes in at a beautiful 9. Gem Mint 10 Growlithe. Jigglypuff, the 9. Yeah, I've said it once this video, but I'm just going to say it again. I think Fire Red Leaf Green is a very undervalued set right now. These foils, the artwork, just everything about the set was super fantastic. Um, all of the illustrations were gorgeous. The foil is so pretty. Just so many great memories with this set. Again, I highly think it's a very undervalued set right now. So uh, I'd jump on that bandwagon if you could. And uh, start picking some of these things up as soon as you can. The boom continues the way that it's been going. I'm sure this is going to be a very targeted set eventually. I mean, look at this magic card. Near Mint 9, jumping in the moonlight. Fantastic. The foil really just accents it so well. Magnemite, Near Mint 9. Meowth, Gem Mint 10. Oh, looks like we have a little swirly on this guy, too. A little hidden swirl that must have passed this up before. Need a ran. Near mint nine. Another near to ran, but this one came back at ten. Pidgey. Gem mint ten. Pikachu. Gem mint ten from Fire Red Leaf Green. Easily easy two hundred dollar card right here. Super cool. Super cute. Got that little pudgy Pikachu. Ponyta, near mint nine. Seal, gem mint ten. Super cute little card. Slowpoke, again that clay animation style look. Super great. Gem mint ten. Squirtle, uh, to be carefree, chilling in the woods, playing in a lake. Pretty jealous of this little guy. Fantastic card. Another Squirtle. Cannonballing into the water. Gem Mint 10. Both these Squirtles with that fantastic artwork and those high grades, easily $500 cards too. Moving on in the Fire Red Leaf Green set, Venonat, Gem Mint 10, Voltorb, comes in at 9, Weedle, comes in at a 9, and then looks like we're moving on from the Fire Red Leaf Green to Hidden Legends, Banette, comes in at 9, Played all, also a nine. Another thing I really enjoyed with this side is the fact that they did the energy types in the background. Again, with that uh, energy hollow, as I like to call them. Robat a nine. Then on the dual types, Dark Celebi. Super cool looking card. This guy came back a five. Not too bad. Electrode, 8.5.
Exploud comes in at a nine. Heracross, also nine on this guy. Jirachi, another one. Super pretty. Machamp, also a nine. Machamp, foil looked great on this card. Really made the image of him real pop well. And Melodic. Near mint 9. Fantastic looking card. Final half of box 2. Only a couple more cards left to go. Pinsir. Gem mint 10. Fantastic looking card. Wallring. Also a gem mint 10. Super cool. Blossom, near mint nine. Chime Cho. Also, please don't roast me in the comments if I uh, said that terribly wrong. Chime Cho, Chimeco, Potato Potato. Gorbus. Super pretty card coming in at nine. Masquerade. Also a nine there. And Matang coming in at an eight. Very cool. I'm gonna file these guys away real quick and then we're gonna move on to box three. A lot of really cool cards in this uh, last box here. Don't think there was anything super crazy heavy hidden like that first box. All those crystals and all their very gorgeous cards. Alright guys, moving on to box three now. Nine Tails Reverse Hollow from Hidden Legends. Snow Cloud Cast Form, nine. Sunny Cast Form. I'm excited for that. We're just coming into the spring weather and it's going to be gorgeous here soon. Tropius, near mint 9. Beldum, looking up at the moonlight. Another really cool artwork on this card. Gem mint 10. Fantastic looking little guy. Cast form, gem mint 10. Super cool, science y manga type artwork on this card. Another favorite of one of the arts. Podrio, EX Legend, Hidden Legends, near Mint 9. Glalie, also a 9 on that guy. Golbat, coming in at Gem Mint 10. Loudred, 9. Love Disc. Also a nine. Oop, come back, Nosleaf. Trying to run away. Quite literally, on the card and in my hands. Nearman eight. Right on. Nearman nine. Helio. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Comes in at 9. Spinda, also from Hidden Legends, near mint 9. Starmie. This was a really cool artwork. I loved how the, uh, the foil really emphasis real strong in the gem in the middle of Starmie. Super cool. Very subtle in the rest of the card, but right there just popped really well. Swallet, near mint 9. Tentacruel, another fantastic, I think it's just something with the reds. When they put this type of foil on cards that had red in the artwork, it just popped so well. Especially in those yellows, too. Boltoy. 
and near mint nine. Beldum, also near mint nine. Chinchow at an eight. Near mint nine on the Dodua. Nine on the Feebas. Another really cool artwork. Love the storm that's going on. Uh, kind of looks like a Tropius in the background there. Super cool. You see some other birds flying around. He's just kind of vibing, watching the storm. Gulpin, near mint nine. He's just happy to be here. Chop, near mint eight. Looks like he just had a good day at his uh, training academy. He seems really excited. Beldum. Near mint nine. Well, hold on a second. So, notice something odd here. Um, they mislabeled this. This is not Beldum. Gonna have to make a note of that. So, number 29, Beldum Reverse Hollow. Interesting. So we're going to set that guy to side because that's kind of a very unique thing. Colossal. Near Mint 9. Fantastic artwork on this card, too. So busy, but it's so pretty. Rhyhorn. See that near mint nine. <coughs> A little shop it near mint nine. <coughs> Snorunt near mint nine as well. <coughs> Surskit near mint nine. Yeah, that auto threw me off there. Uh, I'm like, wait a second, that doesn't look like a Beldum. And uh, sure enough, looks like they mislabeled the card on us. Tentacruel, near mint 9. Totodile. Really cool claymation style. Voltorb, near mint 9. Look at that face. Kind of how I looked a second ago when I was looking at that Oddish. Like, what is going on here? Zubat, near mint nine. Uh, Ancient Technical Machine Ice, coming in at an eight. Ancient Technical Machine Rock, coming in at a ten. Ancient Technical Machine Steel. Coming at a 9. <clears throat> Ancient Tomb at a 9 as well. Desert Ruins also at a 9. And Life Herb at a 9 as well. So we're about halfway done with Box 3. A lot of really cool artworks on all these cards. Hidden Legends also was really well known for having some fantastic artwork. I mean, look at this magnetic storm. Super pretty. Got that like Aurora Borealis type effect going on in the background. Lightning sparking everywhere. Steven's Advice. Also a 9. Life Herb coming at an 8. And now we're going to be moving on couple other cards here. Raichu, near mint 9 from Team Aqua versus Team Magma. Amphros from Unseen Forces, gem mint 10. Ariados, 8.5. Blossom, Reverse Hollow, near mint 9. Super cool card here for Alligator, Gem Mint 10, Unseen Forces. 
Now, this is one of those weird sets that if you don't know the older Pokemon cards very well, um, you look at this card and you're like, wait a second, that's a hollow. No, not quite. So with this set, the reverse hollows, how they worked was that a couple indicators you had are the name of the Pokemon and the hit points would always have that gold foil to it, as well as the set name would have a little stamp in the bottom right corner of the card. And that is how you could tell the reverse foils from those older sets. Uh, I know that can confuse a lot of newer collectors, um, but those are a couple little tips to look for, when, especially when you're looking at these older sets. Um, it was a little bit harder with like things like EX and Legends and some of those other sets that we just covered, because all those cards look like they should just be straight hollow foils, but they were just treated as reverse hollows. So there was no stamp at the bottom, there was no golden name. Um, you know, you just kind of had to know at the time what was a hollow and what was a reverse hollow. So, moving on next, we have Flareon from EX Unseen Forces, Gem Mint 10. Fortress, EX Unseen Forces, and a 9. Houndoom, also a near mint 9. Jolteon. Super cool card. Meganium, Gem Mint 10. Card probably easily pushes around that three four hundred dollar price range. Looks so curious. I love that. Octillery, Reverse Hollow, Near Mint 8. Got a Polyrath at an 8 as well from Unseen Forces. Porygon 2. Comes in at a 9. Slow Bro at a nine. Slow King at a nine. Pseudo Wudo, Gem Mint 10. A very angry looking Pseudo Wudo. Looks like he is having a bad day. Sunflora, Gem Mint 10. Ah, this next card's a big heavy hitter. Typhlosion, Gem Mint 10 from Unseen Forces. I want to say this card easily pushes around the seven eight hundred dollar range. Super cool looking card. Ursaring, coming in at nine. Super cool foil on that guy. Uh, Vaporeon comes in at a nine as well. Moving into the halfway point of box three, ladies and gentlemen. Chansey, near mint nine. Very, very simplistic, like almost childish looking art. Looks super cool. Kleffa, that little doll animation artwork again, that little claymation. Love it. Super cool. Electabuzz, near mint nine. Elekid, near Mint 9. Hitmonchan, comes in at a 9 as well. Another fun fact for you guys, because I'm just shocked full of those. Uh, if you did not know it, Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee were both named after famous martial artists. Hitmonchan, obviously Jackie Chan. Hitmonlee, Bruce Lee. Speaking of Hitmonlee, we have a near Mint 9. Super cool looking artwork. I love all the little rainbow colorations in the background here. Hitmon Top. And as far as I know, Hitmon Top was just named Hitmon Top because it looks like a top. So, no famous martial artist there that I'm aware of. Correct me if I'm wrong. Hobo. Near Mint 9. Super cool card. Jinx. Near Mint 9. This next card's another real treat. Lugia from Unseen Forces Gem Mint 10. Woo! Card's easily in that like seven, eight hundred dollar price range. Gem Mint 10 on this Murkrow. Smooch him. 
near mint nine. <clears throat> Stantler near mint eight. Super cool. Kai Rogue coming in at a ten today. Again, just something about this claymation. I think it'd be really cool if Nintendo actually made like a Pokemon film all in claymation style. I think that'd be kind of a really cool twist. We've seen them remake the first movie in more animated style. I think they should go back and do something in claymation. Apom near mint nine. Imagine if they did the 2000 movie in the claymation. That would actually be kind of cool. Bayleaf. Gem Mint 10. Clefable. 8.5. This is kind of cool. Like I said, they don't give these 0.5 grades too often at PSA. And uh, as far as I know, this is actually the only 8.5 in existence of this card at the moment. Corsola. Near Mint 9. Croconaw. Comes in at 9. Very subtle foil on that guy. Grand Bull. Gem Mint 10. Fantastic. Lantern. Gem Mint 10 as well. Macargo. Also Gem Mint 10. Miltank. One of the most annoying Pokemon in my opinion. Thank you Whitney at the normal type gym there. Roll out for days. Noctowl, near mint 8. Quagsire, also an 8. And Quilava, gem mint 10. Great. Final bit of box 3. Scyther, near mint 8. Shuckle, near mint 9. Smeargle, also near mint 9. Looks like he was painting someone's uh, shingles on the roof. Kind of a good deed, right? Zatu, comes in at a 9. Yanma, also a 9. Chikorita, also a 9. Chin Chow, Reverse Hollow from Unseen Forces, Gem Mint 10. Super cool. Clefairy, Gem Mint 10. Very gorgeous artwork. I love how well it popped in the shading on this. Looks like he's in a field of flowers. Cyndaquil, our final card from Box 3, Near Mint 9. Super cool. So we're going to pack these guys away and we're going to move on. We only got two more boxes left to go, at least for part one of this video series. Like I said, we got about 900 or so cards back on this return. Uh, I think it's closer to 1,000 actually. So I feel like as much as I would love to jam them all into one video, I don't want to bore you guys all. So, moving on to box four. Be patient with me, guys. Just trying to get myself readjusted here. So, box four. What goodies do you have in store? Let's start out right. Eevee. Gem Mint 10 from Unseen Forces. Super cool card. Flaffy. Comes in at nine. Gligar, Gem Mint 10. Loom, near Mint 9. Hoot Hoot, also a 9. Houndour, Gem Mint 10. Super cool card, running through the snowstorm. The foil on the card almost kind of looks like snow itself too, so... Overall, great job on that artwork, guys. Larvitar, Gem Mint 10. Mareep, 
Here we have nine. Not two. Nine. Oddish. Gem and ten. Onyx. Comes in at a nine. Pineco. Gem and ten. Polywag. Also a nine. Really cool artwork here. Seems like they're just playing in a stream. Whole gaggle of Polywags running around with them. Polywhirl. Comes in at eight. Porygon. Gem Mint 10. And Pupitar. Gem Mint 10 as well. Grab another handful, and we're going to keep on trucking through this. Remoraid, Unseen Forces, comes in at an 8. Slowpoke, also coming in at a 9. Slugma, comes in at an 8 as well. He looks happy to be there. Just kind of hanging out. Snubble, Gem Mint 10. Spinarak, coming in at a 9. Sunkern, again, was this very cool, very simplistic artwork, very cartoony, childish almost. I was a big fan of this style of art in the series. Teddy Ursa. Poor little guy. Looks like he fell over. Uh, one thing that I love about the Unseen Forces, and you can definitely see it a lot better here, is they did the, like, the Pokeball foil. Where, tucked in the backgrounds of the foils, you can see Pokeballs kind of floating in the air. Very nice, subtle touch, but man, it doesn't really show up well on, except for some cards. Gem Mint 10 on this Totodile. Except if we're looking, you just can't even see it on this whooper at all. Oh, nope, there it is. It was hiding. So you just gotta get the right angle on these guys to be able to see them. Curse Powder. Energy Recycle System. Nine on that one. We have Mint 10 on Energy Removal number 2. Energy Root comes in at a 9. Energy Switch, this is one of my favorite artworks of all of these cards. Super cool. Again, that claymation style, the simplistic background and the artwork. Uh, the foil just highlights everything so well here. Fluffy Berry. 8.5 Mary's Request also an 8.5 Pokeball another fantastic artwork again anything in the series that they do with lightning they just knock it out of the park especially with foils Pokemon Reversal, 8.5. Professor Elm's Training Method comes back at a 9. Protective Orb, also a 9. See, with some of these trainers, you just can't see that Pokeball foil too well. Citrus Berry. Oh, can kind of see it on this one. Comes back a 5. Solid Rage. Nine. Warp Point. Gem Mint 10. Super cool on that one. Alrighty. Energy Search. Comes back a nine. Potion. Can really see the Pokeballs on this one well. 
four. Ooh. Darkness energy. Original darkness energies back when they were special energies. Gem mint ten. Metal energy. Gem mint ten as well. Boost energy came back a five. Kind of curious why it came back a five. Not really seeing too much on it, but you know. They know what they're doing, I guess. Cyclone energy came back a seven. Warp energy came back a nine. Alrighty, now we're getting to some of the fun stuff from the Unseen Forces. Blissey EX came back a nine. Ooh, famous Espeon EX, Gem Mint 10. Fantastic card, both playability-wise, artwork-wise, just everything about this card is just gorgeous. For Alligator EX, came back a 9. Ho-Oh EX, also a 9. Last couple of cards have pushed some really high values. I want to say the SB on the X, easily $2,000 card. Gonna put these guys away, move on to second row of box four in this two part video series. Got some more really cool cards we're gonna discuss here. Lugia EX coming back a 9. Fantastic artwork on this card. This card also pushing those high dollar amounts. Um, I want to say easily twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300 just in the, this grade 9 condition. Super cool. Meganium EX came back an 8. Gem Mint 10 Polytoad X with a swirl. Super cool. Scissor EX came back a 9. Steelix EX came back a 9 with a little swirl as well. Typhlosion EX. Monzine Forces at a 9. Tyranitar EX came back a 9. Umbreon EX with a Swirl, 9 as well. Another card that could easily push that $1,200, $1,300 range. Alright, here's some real big cards that are really exciting. Entei Gold Star with a Swirl, Gem Mint 10. Beautiful, beautiful card. Easily, easily $2,500, if not more. Super cool. Raikou Star at a 9. Super cool card. And finally, Suicune Gold Star came back a 10 as well. Oh man, how crazy is that, guys? Let's look back at this. We got a 10, a 9, and a 10. So close to three gem mint 10s on these gold stars. Would have been fantastic. Man. Awesome looking cards. Gonna move on. Rockets Persian EX came back a 9. Celebi EX came back a 5. Unknown A came back a 9. B came back a 5. C came back a 9. If I remember correctly, we might be hitting the whole alphabet here with these unknowns. 
D got a 7. E got an 8.5. Little swirl looks like. F got an 8. G got a 3. I feel like we're playing bingo right now. Unknown H got a 10. H10. I, also 10. I'm going to confuse some people at Bingo. J, 8.5. If I ever got a Bingo card and I'm seeing 0.5 numbers, I'm going to question where I am and what type of Bingo game this is. K, got a 9. A little bit of a swirl there, too. L, got a 10. M got a 10. N got a 9. O got a 10. With a little bit of swirly on him. Got P got an 8 with a swirl. Q got a 9. So Q's always look more to a key to me than a Q. R got a 9. S got a 9. T also a 9. U 8.5. V, also a 9. W, got an 8. X, also an 8. Last deck here. Last bit of the alphabet as well, I'm sure. Y, got an 8. Don't question me why I got an 8, but why I got an 8. Z, Gem Mint 10. You thought we were done with the unknowns? Guess again. Question mark. Unknown. Gem Mint 10. I feel like this is how some of you look after some of my puns earlier. Just like, really? Unknown exclamation point. Except it looks like they mislabeled it. Looks like they called it unknown L. Way to go on them. Alrighty, moving on to our next set. We're moving on to Legendary Collection. Legendary Collection was a super cool set, in my opinion, because of the fact that it was one of the first sets that was really targeted to the players and the collectors simultaneously. Uh, the booster packs of Legendary Collection, you would find a lot of times you would get evolution lines of Pokemon. So in one pack, you could pull two or three Charmanders and a Charmeleon, um, or vice versa with any of the other legendary lines, and every single pack had a reverse hollow in it. And if you have never seen a legendary collection reverse hollow, man, you're going to flip when you see some of these. They are so cool looking. So moving on with our first card is card number one of the set, Alakazam. Came back an eight. Articuno, also an eight. Blastoise, another 8. Dark Dragonite came back a 9. Dark Persian, also a 9. Dark Raichu came back an 8. Dark Slowbro came back a 9. Larian came back a seven. And final card of box four, Gengar came back a seven as well. So we're gonna pack these guys up and continue on to the last box of this two-part series here. 
So, a lot of really cool cards in that EX Unseen Forces. I think the biggest highlights were definitely the Gold Star Legendary Dogs. Um, man, I still can't believe, which, you know, speaking of, cannot believe we were so close to 10-10-10 across the board. So close. Alrighty. Box four. It's done. Moving on to box five. Continuing on with our legendary collection cards of Gyarados Gem Min 10. Hitmonlee came back on nine. Machamp came back a 9 as well, and man, it is such a weird thing to see this card without a first edition symbol. This is one of the only printings of this card where it didn't have the first edition symbol. Um, the only other time was there was one other one that came from a special learn to play deck. It was called the Red Trainer Deck A, and the card didn't have the first edition symbol if I remember correctly. Um, and also the back of the card was red-bordered instead of blue. Muck, near mint 7. Ninetales, came back at a 9. Venusaur, also a 9. Zapdos, at a 9. Hitting some of these non hollow rares next. We got Beedrill. Butterfree. Electrode. We're just hitting 9 after 9 after 9. Executor. Also a 9. Gem Min Pen on the Golem. Hypno. Also a 9. Jinx, also a 9 on this one. Super cool card. Not a lot to say about that old artwork. It's just so nostalgic. Everyone knows it. Gem Mint 10 on the Kabutops. Gem Mint 10 on the Magneton. Gem Mint 10 on this Mewtwo. If this Mewtwo looks a little unfamiliar to you, it's because this was actually originally a promo that was given out. Uh, wasn't in the main set from base set at all. Really, really cool looking card. Moltres, Gem Mint 10. Nido Queen, or Nido King, excuse me. Came back a 9. Nido Queen. Also a 9. Pidgeot. 9. Pidgeotto. 8. Right on. Gem Mint 10. Arcanine. Also a Gem Mint 10. This is one of those cards that's always kind of thrown me off. Arcanine has always just felt like a rare card. And every time I see it, I always think it is. The fact that it's an uncommon always throws me off. Charmeleon, 7. Dark Dragonair, 9. Dark War Turtle, 10. Dugong, also a 10. Dodrio, 9. Biro, Gem and 10. Kind of moving through these guys real quick, so I'm excited to get to the reverse hollows of this set. Golduck, got a 9. Graveler, got a 10. Growlithe, also a 10. Uh, Haunter, came back an 8. Which they actually shifted this guy down originally in the uh, 
set he was in, which I believe was Fossil, um, he was a rare and a foil, and they downshifted him to an uncommon slot in Legendary Collection. Ivasaur came back in 9. Magikarp, also in 9. Another card that got downshifted from the rare slot was uh, Snorlax, moved him down into an uncommon as well. Abra, gem mint 10 on that guy. Bulbasaur, came back a 9. Charmander, came back gem mint 10. Pikachu, gem mint 10 on that guy. Even some of these common and uncommons and some of these higher grades... Even that, like, 9s and 10s, like the Squirtle and the Pikachu, these cards easily push one, two hundred dollars if not more. Vulpix, the Gem Mint 10. Alright guys, every one, here's the point that I was super excited about. We have our first Legendary Collection Reverse Hollow now. And like I said, if you've never seen a Reverse Hollow from this set, it is just fantastic and so gorgeous. So, our first one today is Alakazam. Came back in 8. This is a style of foil that they have never done before, and they have never repeated again. And it's such a pretty artwork. Almost looks like fireworks just exploding all over the card. Super cool. Moving on. We have Articuno at a 9. Fantastic looking card. Dark Blastoise came back at a 9. One of the more sought after ones within the set. Even at a 9, this guy easily pushes at like $1,400, $1,500. Dark Raichu came back at an 8. Dark Vaporeon came back a 9. Flareon, Gem Mint 10. Super gorgeous card. Um, easily 1500 plus on this guy. And it's also kind of cool that card number 10 got a 10. Gyarados, got a 9. So, we are done with the first half of our final box here. We're going to be moving on to the last bit. And we're going to be taking a little bit of a break, guys. And we'll be uh, getting ourselves situated and getting ready for the second video, which look forward to because it's going to feature more very cool, nostalgic old cards like we've been seeing today. So Jolteon came back at a 7. Muck came back at a 9. Alright guys, this next card is probably one of the biggest hitters that we got in the entire set of Legendary Collection. No, it's not Charizard. Venusaur. Gem Mint 10. Beautiful card, um, easily $5,000 plus for this card in this condition. It's crazy to think that this card in my hand is almost as worth as much as my car. But man, is it pretty. Zapdos, Reverse Hollow. Beedrill, Reverse Hollow. Butterfree, near mint 7. Electrode, near mint 9. That gorgeous, gorgeous Mewtwo. <laughs> Came back at an 8. Nido King, also an 8. Charmeleon, 
also at an 8. Dark War Turtle at a 9. Gold Duck also at a 9. Graveler, 9 as well. Haunter, striking on that 9 collection. Machoke, also a 9. Nidorino, Ammonite at a gem mint 10. Snorlax, gorgeous card in this first hollow, came back in 9. Easily pushes $1,000 plus on this type of card. Tauros, 9 as well. Santa Cruel, came back in 8. Caterpie, 9 on that guy. Drowsy, also a 9. Execute, Gem Mint 10. Ghastly, 9. Geodude, also a 9 on that guy. Machop, originally from Team Rocket set, Gem Mint 10. We're just foiling on that card. Nidoran came back at a six. Slowpoke got a nine. Sparrow also at a nine. Squirtle nine on this guy. Easily six seven hundred dollar card right here too. I'm telling you, Legendary Collection was no joke. It was such a beautiful set. Such a great set for collecting. Um, just everything about that set I loved. Probably one of my all-time favorite sets, if I'm being 100% honest. Continuing on with our Legendary Collection cards, we have Voltorb at a 6. Vulpix at a Gem Mint 10. Also another really expensive card. Even these cards, when they get to these high grades like this, even though they're common, they still push seven, eight hundred dollars easily. Full heal, six. Potion energy, gem and ten. Pokemon trader came back at a six. Scoop up. Got an eight. Challenge six. Mysterious Fossil Reverse Hollow. Got an eight. I believe that is possibly it for our legendary collection stuff for now. Uh, we're going to move on from those for a little bit. EX Ruby Sapphire. Got Agron at a nine. Beautifly at a 9. Blaziken also at a 9. Camera up, our first Gem Mint 10 of the EX Ruby Sapphire era. Delcaddy, this was a great card. I loved playing this card just once during your turn. You can discard an energy card, draw three up to three cards from your deck. Um, the fact that you could have, you know, Multiple of these just made it really easy to cycle through your deck really easily. Dustox, super cool foil on this card. I always love this artwork too. That sunset. Flying over the forest. Beautiful seven card on that. Gardevoir. Fantastic card. Came back at an eight. Hariyama. Came back at a nine. Manetric. Also a 9. Mightyana. Gem Mint 10. Another fantastic looking artwork. I love it. Super cool. Did a great job. Septile. 
came back an 8. And our final card for the first half of these videos, slacking at an 8 with a swirl on it. Super, super cool looking card. Um, not much to say, these foils were fantastic. So, next up we have a Swampert near mint 8. Whale Lord, also at a 9. Blaziken, also a 9. Next up we have a Swamp, or Sceptile, came back a 9 as well. <clears throat> Swampert, Gem Mint 10, beautiful piece. Combuskin, came back a 9. Another Combuskin at a 10. Grovile at a 9. Grovile at a gem mint 10. Marsh Somp at a gem mint 10 as well. One more Marsh Somp at a gem mint 10. Hey, hey. I heard you like mudkips. Shout out to anyone that knows that one. Gem mint 10 on that mudkip. Next mod kit comes in at a 7. Torchic, near mint 7. Torchic, here's a 10. <clears throat> Trico a 10. Followed by another Trico a 10. Nice. Chansey EX at a near mint 9. Gorgeous card there. I'm going to file these ones away. And continue up and finish up this EX Ruby Sapphire set. I like the buzz at a 7. Hitmonchan at an 8. Lapras EX at a 9. Magmar EX at a 9. Got a little swirly in there too, it looks like. Mewtwo EX came back an 8 with a swirl. Scyther EX at a 9. And finally, shout out to my niece. Hey, look, Ava. We got a gem in 10 with a swirl. Look at that. That's awesome. And that will be concluding the first video of this two-part series. We saw a lot of really cool cards today. Everything from EXs to classic cards to legendary collection, beautiful reverse hollows, all sorts of goodies, including the three legendary dogs that came back at Gold Star Ratings 10 9 10. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Uh, all these cards that you have seen are available and live on the website already. So if there was anything super cool here that you just cannot live without, be sure to head over to ce-101.com and check them out. Look at all the other cool cards and merchandise we have live on our site. And with that, class dismissed.